uh, let, let, let me move this thing back to Mexico. And I'm just going to ask you a very basic question. Why is there so much corruption in Mexico? Mexico has always been corrupt. The cartels basically have paid off all levels of the Mexican government, the city, state, federal, all the way up to Los Pinos, which is the White House. The cartels, basically, their money puts in whatever president they, 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 they choose. They control the presidents that, that go in. And this is not just this administration, past administrations, Sean. They, they are billionaires, okay? They arm their bodyguards with very sophisticated weaponry. They basically could take on the Mexican government. And I'll repeat, they can probably take on the Mexican uh, uh, military, the army or whatever. They could never, ever win a war against us. I mean, our SEALs and, and our, our, our military are the best in the world. We could wipe out the cartels in one week if we wanted to. But there hasn't been the will, I guess. Donald Trump wanted to do it. Donald Trump, after the assassination of the LeBron, the Mormons, the 19 people that were in a convoy going to a wedding, were intercepted by the Sinaloa cartel, and they were, they were, about 19 were killed. As a matter of fact, they burned to death three babies that were in, a, in an SUV in their baby chairs. They lit them up and burned them. Nothing ever became of that. The Mexican government never arrested the Sinaloa cartel members that committed those 19 murders, by the way. Donald Trump was very upset at that, and he told the president of Mexico, we need to go in and do war against these cartels. And what did the Mexican uh, uh, president say? Lopez Obrador retorted, no, we don't want a war. We're trying to not start a war over here. We're going to basically solve this drug problem, attack the cartels with abrazos, not balazos, meaning with hogs, not bullets. He used that paradigm, that comparison. No, we're not. And we don't want you sending any SEALs or any Green Berets or any military people into Mexico because you are going to be in violation of our sovereignty. So therefore, back off. And Donald Trump didn't go in. But as well armed as the cartels are, and they are very well armed because they are as well armed as Al Qaeda uh, and the Taliban uh, are. They have lost rockets, they have surface to ground missiles, M60 uh, machine guns, recorders, rifles, grenade launchers. They have it all. And believe me, they could wage war against the Mexican government as a matter of fact. Hold, hold on, I want you to stop for one second. Because, because I'm trying to get right. to the 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 root of this thing it it, it, it didn't start like this um and, and i'm trying to understand was it economics was it power how does drug traffickers infiltrate every level of the government starting from local police uh, to government officials, right up to the president of Mexico. It, it is, and I and, and I ask you, you know, very simply, how does that country get so corrupt from the very beginning? Is it just finances? Are are, are, are these officials just greedy? I, I gotta believe that when when police officers are sworn in, they come in wanting to fight crime. How do you turn these people? How did it begin, if, if, if you even know that answer? Well, I'm not sure because it's been going on for uh, at least 60 years that I know of. I don't know how it all started, but the government of Mexico does not pay their cops well. The police there are, 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 are treated like criminals, which most of them are criminals. 
So therefore, on a, on a policeman's salary in Mexico, you can't support a family. So you have to turn to bribery. You go to Mexico to, to this day. I go there all the time. And if you get run a stop sign, the, the, the traffic cops want to tell you, you can, we can take care of this here. You can give me $20 now or, or else I'll write to a ticket and it's going to cost you $60 uh, to, to, to pay uh, at the at government office down there. So they supplement their salaries by bribes from the lowest cop to the highest level officials in the Mexican government. They all live off of bribes um, to su supplement their salaries. And there it goes further up, and then you have the, the, the prosecutors being paid twenty, thirty thousand dollars to look the other way on a murder. And then you have the cops that won't even investigate a murder because they're being greased. And it's all bribe money. They, they operate totally on corruption. And let me tell you, Mexico isn't the only country that's totally corrupt. We are very corrupt in this country, too. We have a lot of corruption in this country. And it's not just now. We've, we've been corrupt for years, too. But what are we talking about the Camarena murder case? That happened, what, 25, 30 years ago? And there was corruption back there. Look at the corruption that was going on back there. So I, I'm not political, Sean. I'm not going to blame the Democrats. I'm not going to blame the Republicans. There's been corruption in both administrations. They've both been corrupt. Okay? And corruption is what destroys a country. The biggest priority of, of, of government should be to protect its citizens, Sean. That is what our government officials' number one priority should be. But it can't be a priority when you have an open border letting all the drugs pour into this country. All the illegals come in over here, you know, dis destabilizing our, our country because this is going to happen. So we're not being protected by our government. And something's going to happen in this country. We need to get back to the basics of e electing people in both parties that are really going to protect our citizens. This inf influx of, 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 of smuggling that's going on right now is incredible. We have an invasion going on to the southern Mexican border right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I couldn't disagree with you more. It, it, it's corrupt on both sides of the border. Uh, but as pertains to Mexico, it, it feels like there is no one who is not on the tape. There's no one who is not supplementing their income with cartel money. And if that's the case, how do you live in a country that is run secretly uh, by the cartels? It, 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 where does the law and order start and where does it end? It's just insane to me to think that uh, a country can be infiltrated, like literally an entire country can be infiltrated at the highest levels by illegal traffickers. Yeah, it, it's, it's just bananas to me. Um, I... <laughs> You know, where do we go from here? What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.